A day after Hillary Clinton said it's not time for the Democrats to act civil towards the Republicans, Eric Holder basically, well, agreed with her. Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Hillary Clinton, a couple of days ago, said that uh, the only way to bring civility back into politics in the United States was for Democrats to win re-election and for Democrats to take back the House, Senate, and eventually the White House. Eric Holder, the former Attorney General, talked about uh, Republicans and what Democrats should do when Republicans quote-unquote go low, uh, adding his voice to a group of prominent Democrats calling for an increasingly aggressive approach to Republicans. The former Attorney General in the Obama administration, Eric Holder, said when conservatives go low, the left should kick them. Ouch. Democrats, Holder said, must get more tough if they're going to prevail. The new attitude would represent the new Democratic Party. His calls for a more violent approach to politics received a hearty applause from the audience. Quote, they, talking about the Republicans, have used the power uh, that they have gotten for all the wrong things, Holder said. During an appearance over the weekend in Georgia, they want to keep themselves in power. They want to cater to the special interest. It's time for us as Democrats to be as tough as they are, to be as dedicated as they are, to be as committed as they are. Michelle always says, talking about Michelle Obama, when they go high, we go low. Holder went on, no, no. When they go low, we kick them. His call for kicking Republicans drew quick applause from the crowd. He said, quote, that's what that's what this new Democratic Party is about. We're proud as hell to be Democrats. We're going to fight for the ideals of the Democratic Party. We're proud of our history, proud of our present, proud of the future we can create for this country. We are not just going to make a statement. We're in it to win. And so Eric Holder uh, joining in with the uh, Democrats who are calling, of course, uh, for uh, for uncivility or incivility uh, towards Republicans. But remember, uh, he, if this, this is not new uh, from the Democratic uh, Party. Uh, this this is not new at all. In fact, uh, here's just a couple of things that have been said. Hillary Clinton, you cannot be civil with Republicans. Cory Booker uh, telling Democrats to get up in the face of some uh, congressman. And then, of course, you remember Maxine Waters, who called for the harassment of Trump cabinet officials. Uh, we, we've seen this increasingly play out, and it's it's really quite sad from the Democratic Party. Uh, Rand Paul has spoken about this as he fears somebody is going to get hurt, that this is going to turn very, very violent, uh, which I already think it has. Uh, if you remember, it wasn't long ago that a uh, crazed leftist uh, decided to take to a baseball field uh, where congressional Republicans were, and he tried to assassinate multiple members uh, of Congress who were all Republican. And why did he do it? Because they were Republican and he didn't like how uh, they voted. Uh, We're at a very dangerous time uh, in the country and it seems as though the left are the ones who are wanting to ratchet things up. You saw the angry mobs outside the Supreme Court, the angry mobs who uh, got in front of Ted Cruz and his wife, the angry mobs uh, who, uh, who keep breaking out in protest, Antifa which keeps breaking out uh, in protest in places like Portland. Uh, This is probably going to get even more out of hand. And Democrats, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, but uh, you guys are a little bit to blame on this one. It's not Republicans who are calling for mob-like action. It's not Republicans that are calling for uh, Democratic uh, uh, elected officials to be confronted at their homes or at restaurants or where they work. It's not Republicans who are doing it. It's Democrats, and you guys really need to think about that. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO.